Episode 1, The Unique Hydrological Cycle of Arizona. Arizona, best known for the breathtaking Grand Canyon and the Red Rocks of Sedona, and its bustling cities, like Phoenix and Tucson, is also known for a more challenging feature, its semi-arid, dry climate. Well over half of the state is defined as desert or dry grassland, with an average yearly temperature of about 84 degrees. And here's the thing, in Arizona, we lose an average of seven times more water to the atmosphere than we receive from it. So that means a lot more water is going up than coming down. This becomes very important when you consider that every living creature needs water to survive. Like, for example, blue here, a great blue heron. Common to our state, this large bird can be found around water and soaring above our landscape, making him the perfect guide to Arizona's hydrological secrets. Ecosystems throughout Arizona, including those found in the desert, rely on water that arrives in many different ways. As long as humans have lived here, they have been finding ways to collect, preserve, and manage as much water as possible. Through naturally occurring and engineered systems, people have been quite successful in their efforts, enabling generations to thrive in this arid environment. In a constant race against evaporation and drought cycles, Arizona scientists, engineers, and policymakers have moved water from one place to another, channeling it through canals to places where it can be used or stored for later. However, there is another source of life-giving water, one not seen by the naked eye. And to find it, we don't need to look from this vantage point, but instead, we just have to look down at our feet. That's right, our feet. Because below the surface of where you are right now, a huge resource exists. It turns out, 98% of Earth's available freshwater is what's known as groundwater. Yep, you got it, water underground. So, is there groundwater for us to use here where we live? In fact, there is, and we have been pumping wells to get it out of the ground for many, many years now. Without question, groundwater has been the most essential resource in Arizona to grow our food, manufacture products, and to use right in our homes every day. But how much of this groundwater can we really use? Watch episode two for a deeper dive into groundwater.